Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. Today is day 12. So today we're going to dive into the tasks applet and cover all things tasks. So first of all, just a reminder, tasks is one of your widgets on your home screen. So we can see those tasks here. We can actually create a task from that widget. But we're going to go ahead and dive into the applet. It's the third icon down, our tasks applet. You can see we've actually got four tasks that were created for us by the labs team in KWRI as a new subscriber. So great examples here inside of tasks already. We've got our task names here. You can see at the very top there are three tabs. The first tab are all of the tasks I have yet to complete and need to do. I've also got a tab of completed tasks and I've got a tab for archived tasks. I can also search for a specific task name or any part of that task name. I can filter my tasks as well, and I can filter those by when they're due, only repeating tasks, priority, level, what kind of task type is it? Is it linked to a specific contact, opportunity, or neither? And then who and how was it created? Top right-hand corner, as all things are in command when you <clears throat> want to create something new, you do have this big blue-green button to create a new task. We're going to go ahead and walk through that process. So the first thing you're going to do when you create a task is to name it. <clears throat> Maybe you met somebody um, that is interested in purchasing and you want to stay on top of them uh, with a call every single week. So let's say Mickey wants to buy. So we're going to call Mickey Mouse. We're going to go ahead and say, hey, let's link contacts because Mickey's actually in our database. So we're gonna search for Mickey in the database. And, well, I thought Mickey was in the database. Did we remove him last time? Uh, let's say it's Minnie then. All right, Minnie wants to buy. So we're gonna link Minnie to this contact record. We can go back and change that task name. You can see that you can link additional contacts if you needed to, right? Uh, what sort of task type is this? Is it a text-based task type? Is it a call-based task type or other? This is a call-based task. It's important to designate it as such as well, especially when we get into the command mobile app. You can actually utilize your phone to knock out your tasks, and if they're call tasks, it'll actually allow you to dial that contact straight from your phone by just a couple of clicks. So description is follow up on interest in purchasing homes in and around Orlando. Uh, no hyperlink, but we could have a hyperlink. I'll show you what that looks like on some of the other tasks. This is a high priority level task. So we want to make sure we're doing that every single week. Uh, due date type. Is it a calendar date when it's due or is there no due date? It's just something that needs to be done. Um, and we're going to say, hey, we got to get that done today. And then every single week on Wednesday from here until they buy. So we're just going to say weekly on Wednesday. You can see you can make that a daily task a monthly task, a yearly task, or you could even go in and do some custom dates as well. So we'll just say weekly on Wednesday and go ahead and create that task. Now you're gonna see we have a fifth task. You can see it does have the phone icon because it was a call-based task and it's been linked to many. It's a high priority task and it is due today. So you can see right now we have it filtered by due date. These are all past due. And then we've got today's that is due today. So uh, just to show you what it would look like if you did have a hyperlink, so download the command app is one of the KWRI labs tasks. You can see this one actually has a hyperlink and it would take us to an answers article on how to download the command mobile app. So if you are a new agent or at least new to command and you have not completed these four tasks, definitely would recommend you check them out. Uh, we've talked a lot about contacts already. Connecting applications will walk you through connecting either DocuSign or DotLoop. Uh, then you can contact or connect uh, Twilio potentially. You can launch your agent site, which we'll definitely get into later in the challenge. And then of course we talked about downloading the command app. If you do want to filter these tasks quickly and easily just by those that are either past due, I can click on that. I want just the ones that are due today, due in the next seven days, due later or no due date. You can see those quick and easy filters. And if we want to clear them and see them all, we would just click on this X. Tasks can also be created in a variety of additional ways. So in your contact record, there is a tasks tab that can be created there. 
You can create tasks through smart plans. We'll show you that coming up later this week. You can create tasks through opportunity checklists, and we'll show you that when we dive into opportunities as well. So although we're only spending one day on tasks itself, we will reference back to tasks multiple times throughout the rest of the challenge. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.